why is it that i know all my texts i know the theory i know everything still when i'm sitting in the exam and reading a question i'm not able to answer it why is it that when i have written the answer and i feel my answer is amazing and still when the results are out my answers are not satisfactory at all and i'm not getting i mean it was satisfactory to me but i'm not getting the mark that i thought i deserve why is it that when a question could be given for 6 marks why they have given it only for 4 marks why are they taking away the 2 marks from me so many questions so many questions no answers to it hello everyone i'm nitika bachavat and today i am going to discuss something with you very very important which is how to write the answer in the exam why it is for 6 marks and not 4 marks or vice versa a practical answer has to be written in three paragraphs whenever you get a practical situation a case study which is known as a case study the case study shall be written in the case study shall be written in three paragraphs you will write the answer in three paragraphs so the first paragraph some people even go for a four para answer i prefer the three para answers the first paragraph is your provision paragraph okay so whenever you read the question the question will tell you that referring to this act tell us what the answer would be so when my question tells you so you know you have to refer to that act now the first thing that comes to your that should come to your mind after you have read the question is which provision of the act is applicable here so it starts with as per the provision of this 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 act whatever is the act here and then you write the provision now i have seen many people because i have explained it like this i see many a times people just stopping it here where is the provision here you cannot end it here you need to write the provision so you need to write the entire provision here right so whatever is the relevant provision you need to quote that relevant provision you can write it in your own language absolutely but there are some key words which you cannot forget like you know writing void void ab initio if it is void ab initio it is always preferable that you write void ab initio rather than just void right so be careful about these things now now this is if you don't remember the section ma'am i am Too good with numbers. I have learned all my sections. Well, in that case, you should even quote the section number. So, how do you quote? As per section this, this, this of this, 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 this act, right? So, this is your first paragraph, and this obviously, when I write the answer, we will see how we write it. The second paragraph is relate to the provision. so basically here we are going to write a part of the question now when i say write the question what people do they copy word to word no i am just going to take that relevant part of the question which is applicable here and accordingly i am going to answer so basically it starts with in the above case and then i just you know write the question the relevant part of the question and i try to connect it with the provisions right i try to connect it with the provision and finally the third paragraph which is the conclusion paragraph thus therefore anything and you write the conclusion now people here try to do phd here they write their entire thesis in this conclusion the conclusion is just one or two line you don't have to write entire thesis here you just have to because you've already mentioned everything in the first two paragraphs so the conclusion paragraph you just conclude your answer you just give whatever the question is on that basis you give your conclusion so this is the format of the answer right this is the format of your answer this is how your answer should be written now let us actually go into a question and try to see how it is to be written so i am going to take up a question from partnership act today and i am going to write this answer with you all today X and Y are partners in a firm. X introduced A, a manager. That means he's not a partner. As his partner to Z, A remains silent. So this is what you know when you are reading the question. 
you need to emphasize on the keywords and that keyword will give you the provision of the answer z a trader believing a as a partner supplied 100 tv sets to the firm on credit after expiry of credit period z did not get the amount of the tv sets sold to the partnership firm z filed a suit against x and a for the recovery of the price advise z whether he can recover the amount from x and a so this is partner by estoppel and i have to write about partner by estoppel right so in case of partner by estoppel or holding out that partner has severe liability that means he can be held liable for the contract personally and severely so can z recover the money from x and a yes so this is the answer we have got but this is we cannot just write yes and no if it is a three or four marks question then i cannot just write yes or no right so how am i supposed to frame the answer ma'am this cannot be for six marks ma'am why only four marks ma'am six marks they would have given no ma'am one two marks extra i would have got well a question being for three or four marks or a question being for five six marks what is the difference if the question is for six marks it implies that there are more than one provisions which are relevant for this question right if the question is for more uh, it's for six marks that means there are more than one provision which is applicable for this question and that's the reason they have given for so many marks otherwise institute is not doing charity here why would they give it for 6 marks so 6 marks implies that there are more than one provision for the question now coming back to the answer how will i write it so i have to quote about partner by estoppel so as per the provisions of the partnership act please be careful act should be capital right 1932 now if you see here i had written provision but here i am not renaming the paragraphs i don't name the paragraphs then ma'am why did you write the provision here the reason i wrote here because otherwise how will i explain it to you but i don't write in the answer i don't name my paragraphs ma'am you are writing it in paragraph but here it was tabular i wrote it in tabular form just for you to understand that's it the answer has to be written in paragraphs okay as per the partner provisions of the partnership act 1932 now what people think is this is the end of the sentence they move to the next line no i will continue my answer from here only when a partner of the firm represents another person as a partner of the firm to a third party and such person does not deny it then he shall be a partner by estoppel or holding out see very simple very simple this is because this is a long sentence but still if you are writing the answer try to make the sentences short I see people writing ten lines with and 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 and. You will end up making grammatical errors. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? Write it properly. Write small sentences, small cute sentences. Okay, which at least the other person understands, right? So this is the definition of partner by estoppel. But I cannot end it here, right? So if the third party. on the basis of such representation enters into a contract with the firm enters into a contract with the firm then the person so represented shall 
also be liable and his liability shall be severe this is my provision now i will move to the next paragraph in the above case x and y are partners of a firm x represents a the manager to t i think no what is the name i forgot the name to z the manager to z as a partner z on the faith of the representation sells 100 tv sets on credit right since a did not deny the representation he is a partner by estoppel or holding out and his liability shall be severe thus z can recover this is the conclusion sorry thus z can recover the money from x and a right you can also add here z wants to sue x and a for the money so this sentence you can add here since a k before this you can actually add this sentence here and then conclude since a has been represented and he did not deny it is a partner by estoppel so he will have liability thus z can recover the money from x and a um your answer need not be word to word as i have written it because no two person can actually write the same sentence in the same manner but the content should be likewise and if your content is likewise or you are able to write it in this manner that means you have written a very nice answer right so i hope the next time after watching this video you write an answer you are able to produce an answer in the best possible manner to your to i mean to as you can do it so i hope this video helps thank you so much happy learning and stay motivated